Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are celebrating Courtney Kreber's 10,000 subscribers. So we are celebrating with the hop and giveaway. There's going to be 10 participants, 10 videos, and 10 giveaways. On each video, you'll have a chance to win the main stamp set used in the video. How awesome is that? So I'm going to be working with this Miss Ink stamp um, I thought it was really perfect for the theme. The theme is thankful because I just love all these cute little images, the birds, the flowers, the banners, and I think it would be perfect sentiment in that banner. Um, something about thankful or thank you. So I'm going to color these up off screen. Um, I'll post to my channel later on a coloring video of this but we're going to put the card together after I cut all these pieces out. So to be eligible in the giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment down below and make sure you have in the comment the stamp set that I used so that when Courtney pulls the winner she'll know exactly what stamp set she is sending you. The winners will be announced on May 31st on Courtney's channel. So be sure to subscribe to her channel so you don't miss that video. She has tons of videos, beautiful coloring. She's a beautiful colorist and she does tutorials on her coloring all the time. So if you're really into like Copic markers and coloring mediums, Courtney's channel is the one to visit. This stamp set is called Springtime Banners. Make sure you add that to the comments. In the description box down below, you'll find the link to the next person on the hop. So let's get started with this. There's a lot of images in this stamp set. So let's see. I think I want to do like a square card. Um, these banners are calling for like maybe a a five by five card on this one. I kind of like this one. Let's see what sentiment I want to use. We can. I have this Miss Ink um, stamp. This is the Everyday Sentiments, and there's some thank you in here. So we could put thank you so very much on the large one, or thank you on the small one. Hmm. But I might want to use a lot more of these images. So I might want to use the large one and we might have to do maybe a six by six card. Okay, so let's stamp out my images. So this does fit perfectly on in a regular A2 size card, but I still think I want to do a nice big card. So let's stamp this out. I'm gonna use the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. If you haven't heard of Miss Ink stamps before, I encourage you to check them out. They have some really cute um, images. Pretty darn good for my first stamp. I think I can stamp some more on the inside here since these images are pretty small. And then I'll have my brother scan and cut cut them all out. This is going to be a really fun card to make. So I want to leave enough room so I can have a little white border and I think I just want to color everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out another piece of paper and just fill it up. I've got a five and a half by five and a half card base. I matted it with this yellow card stock just leaving a tiny white border. And then I've got this square here. This is the largest die in the Lawn Fawn square stitched die set. And that's going to go in the middle. And then we'll build our little banner wreath right there. And I'm gonna have some of these pieces hang off the white and spill onto the yellow there. So I wanna add a little bit of color in the middle so I have this My Favorite Things pineapple color. So I'm gonna use that with my largest picket fence brush here. And um, I wanna just go off and get some of that color off my brush so it's not so dark. 
and then start in the middle. Okay, just to add a little color. Now let's mat this on our card base here. And then we can start building up our wreath. Okay, I'm going to lay something flat on there for it to dry. Okay, let's start assembling all our pieces here. We'll start with the banner. I've popped up my banner with foam tape. I popped up some of the images with two foam dots for extra height. So I think this is going to turn out really pretty. Ah, I keep dropping it and I'm not ready to stick it down. I need some tweezers. Okay, I think that looks good there. I want the big flower right there tucked into that little area right there in that banner. And then these little leaves are going to go right here. So I'll place my leaves down first. Get some liquid glue. I'm going to have the little nest over here. And the little nest, I'm not going to pop up. Just glue that straight down. Okay, now let's work on this side. We're going to have these little leaves here hanging down the same as this side. The little bird's going to sit on the banner along with the cute little ladybug. So we're going to have those guys down there. I'm going to have the little butterflies flying around here in the middle. Now we've got a few more roses or whatever you want these to be. So we'll have one rose up here. And then these two as a cluster. Now I have to decide where I want the greenery to point. Inward or outward. Or up. Up seems to look good. So I'm just gluing this one straight down. We'll glue these two together. This is looking so pretty. And then the butterflies. And there's a little bee. How cute is that? So let's see. Get two butterflies flying around. And then a bee. All right, let's put our little bird down. Let's put our cute little bird down. So cute. And then this cute little ladybug. And he just ties in those red berries. And I like this butterfly here, looking at the little rose. And I'm not sure where I want to put this bee. I guess he seems pretty good right there. That is so cute. Now I think I need some sequins or something. I just want to tuck in these sequins behind the images. I think that looks really pretty. Whoa, that's a lot of glue. Good thing this glue dries clear. Okay, that will complete my card. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the description box for all the information and the next person on the hop. I hope you guys enjoy the hop and congratulations, Courtney. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.